We're on the water in Broome. On the cruise to go and see dolphins. Can't quite see. This was an amazing experience to see the manta ray up this close in its natural environment. Awesome. Ridiculously hot walk here. Yeah. It was just a mere 2. Point, what was it? 2.5 k's. Something like that. And it nearly killed us. This is Janie walking out of the bar after one pint of ginger beer. I and mean, do we detect the wobbling? She thinks there's wobbling. Feels like the world. And now we're walking to the next bar. Because what else do you do in this heat, right? Exactly. Resurrected in the video, dear. Yeah? Okay. What are we, where are we? It's some scenic. Look out. Can you look out? And the tide is out. And all the water is gone. And it's a massive sand flat that we can see. Mm, mangroves. Just massive. And now we're in a place I can never remember how to pronounce. Matzo's. Matzo's. Matzo's Brewery. Matzo's Brewery. And it's very hot. Very it's too hot for us Victorians, basically. Definitely. Spinach and ricotta. Spinach and ricotta. Spinach and ricotta. And this 
is my last mouthful of my chicken with satay coleslaw. And it's good. It's got nuts and beans and coleslaw and chicken and satay. It's pretty tasty. Mm, it's very good. There's lights. We're just packing up from Broome and the Broome Time Resort and uh, I think Jane and I both had mixed feelings about this place. I think Broome has actually been quite nice. I think we had a very poor introduction to it. Um, yeah, we had a, had a good day yesterday and a good night last night and uh, yeah, we're actually both thinking that we would have probably liked to have spent a bit more time here but uh, that's not the case we've got to keep uh, keep moving and the next challenge is to get through the next few days of uh, of heat and uh, and uh, outback conditions and uh, yeah we're looking forward to seeing some sights and uh, making it through the next day next few days intact aren't we dear Absolutely. yes just wait for the museum to open Tide fully in with mangroves in the water, nice jetty, a beautiful park here. And it's beautiful. We had actually hung around Broome on the day we were leaving to go to this museum. So uh, please define it is. The Diamond Plane. It went down and the diamonds went missing. And this was me, all historyed out, sitting outside in the garden, trying to stay cool. Will Harry? Will here? Yeah, there's sprinklers, there's baobab trees, baobab or whatever they're called. Nice tree there. Brian's been here. Oh, there's a big water tower. Yes. And we're going in to have something like a salad sandwich. Yes? Not, not be corrupted by the golden lights. Yeah, are you, are you tempted by the golden lights, Andy? Possibly. <laughs> Jenny, you're going to have another ring of fire. <laughs> Spicy chicken salad. Mine is, smells amazing. Calamari salad. Awesome. Pulled up for the night, and it's Allendale Station Lake, and it's just a little lake off the highway, Great Northern Highway, and uh, it's very quiet. I think there's two other people camped here, and uh, there's cows mooing in the distance that are probably going to come up and. Have a drink, given all the footprints around the lake. And um, we believe that we'll be absolutely invaded by mosquitoes any moment. But for right now, they're all right. But it's just a magic spot. Quiet, Jane likes it. Hopefully we don't get any visitors in the night <laughs> of any kind. 
and uh, yeah, we'll be off bright and early in the morning. This video really takes some introduction. All the way up WA, we had been warned about this place, Fitzroy Crossing. Now, we own, we didn't stop there because basically we'd been warned so about how bad the security was in this place that uh, we chose not to stop there. And um, while we were there, we did feel a bit intimidated, but the town itself was relatively okay. Uh, and we rode around a little bit to have a look at the town because we just had so much discussion with all of the grey nomads on the road about this place. Um, so it was a bit of a pity that uh, we were almost terrified when we rode into this place. But um, yeah, we survived. the McGumbin Cliffs and it's been a pretty specky last five or ten minutes. You can see a bit of background. I hope you can hear me. It's very windy. But uh morning. Morning munchies there. Morning munchies. Yes? Yes. You got anything else to say? It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Fitzroy Crossing was interesting. Fitzroy Crossing. Yes. Wow. We, we, we hit it at like 10 to 7, I reckon, yeah. on a Sunday morning. Yeah. And there was already... <laughs> You're going to have to edit this before you let your parents see it. <laughs> we'll have to bleep that out. Yeah, you have to bleep <laughs> Here we are, another rest stop. This one's Mary Pool, which is 100 k's before um, Paul's Creek. Uh, and there's a little bit of water, but not a lot. And I suspect within a couple of weeks, there wouldn't be much water here. Yeah. The old Ford crossing is pretty cool. I was going to ride out there on my motorbike, but yeah, there was rocks there to stop you from doing that, so maybe I won't. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very hot. There's a couple of other camps here, and there's cows. But these cows are quiet. But there are some uh, glass here too, which are not so quiet. Yeah, having fun. China Wall at uh, 
Falls Creek. Probably a good swimming hole in. Uh... Yeah, and how, how far did they say it went, dear? 15 k's. This this wall thing, natural phenomena. Amazing. Thank you.